guys, this is Jackie, your Nerdy Crafter. In honor of the new movie Finding Dory, I thought this was the perfect time to do a stingray tank because so many of you also requested it. And so for this week's tutorial, you guys will learn how to make your very own miniature stingray tank. I absolutely love this stingray. Of course, you can make it a little more cartoony, but I wanted to make it a little more serious and that way you can adapt it however way you want. What I like about this project is I did experiment with putting a kind of glass on the side. So if you're as excited as I am about the Finding Dory movie, you will be excited about this video. This week is a collaboration with my really good friend that I met here also in Montreal, Mimi. Mimi's channel is Geek Lightful and she does all sorts of miniatures with kind of a food related twist. And so for this week, she's showing you guys how to make your very own little Dory inside a coffee mug. In the trailer, you see Hank holding Dory, and so she's going to show you how to make a miniature version of that. Make sure you check her channel and subscribe while you're there. Give her much, much love. For those of you new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. There are plenty of geeky tutorials to keep you entertained. Equally, if you like this project, don't forget to leave a like and share. All the dweebs are doing it. Here's what you'll need for this project. Brown, blue, and small bits of color of polymer clay. All these are from Sculpey. Sand, all-purpose glue. A small mold. Your resin kit. This one is called Envirotex Lite, and I got it at a craft store. You can also find it at a home hardware store under the name Epoxy Resin. If you have UV resin, go ahead and use that instead. Rounded and pointy tools. The first thing we're going to do is the glass for the tank. Pour a little bit of resin in the tiny mold and let it harden. Don't worry about the transparency because once we put more resin on it, it'll be see-through. Now for the base of the tank, roll a piece of brown clay quite thin and then make a border with more brown clay. Shape it so that it's not too shallow. Once you have the shape that you like, smooth the bottom parts together and then the inside. We want to make sure that there are no gaps for the resin to leak through. Feel free to make this tank as big as you want for as many bottom dwelling creatures as you wish. Now cut the fake glass we made and push it really snugly in between the clay border and the bottom. Smooth all the parts that touch the glass. Add liquid Sculpey if you have for extra protection. Now you're going to texture the enclosure with an old toothbrush that is only for your crafting. Make sure you don't use it for anything else. So far so good. Let's make tiny starfish. Take any color that you want, roll each one really thin and just place each strand individually until you make a starfish shape. Make as many as you want with as many different colors as you want. Feel free to make corals and rocks if you want as well. I show you how to make them in my dolphin environment tutorial. Now bake everything for 25 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Make sure that your oven was preheated. Once your base is baked, mix some sand and glue together until you get a smooth consistency and spread a thin layer at the bottom of your base. If you want to add any large rocks, now is a good time to do it. Let it fully dry before continuing. That time will of course depend on your glue. To make the stingray, it's quite simple. Make a long teardrop shape with the color of choice, mine is blue like the ones in the movie. Now you're going to pinch each side of the bubbly part until you have what looks like wings. There are lots of different kinds of stingrays, so have fun and make your favorite. Lightly flatten the whole thing, and now flatten a piece of white clay really thin and place it under the stingray and cut around it to make the bottom part. Add some details by putting a pelvic and dorsal fin. To make the eyes, make an arch with your blue and insert a small ball for the eye. I chose to do black eyes, but you can do any color you want. Now smooth it on the head and bake it for 20 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Make sure that your oven was preheated. Once it's baked, take some white acrylic paint and make some dots. Place your stingray on the sand by putting some glue from your glue gun so that it looks like it's hovering over the sand. If you want it directly on the sand, you can completely skip the glue gun part. Now for the final step, mix your resin according to package instructions. If you've never worked with resin before, be sure to watch my resin crafting tips video that I will leave in the description box below and in the I section of this video. Pour the resin slowly at first to make sure you get all the small nooks, then pour until you cover your creature. 
pop any bubbles with a heat source, and feel free to add rocks or anything else to make your piece unique to you. Let it set for 12 hours before putting it on display. All done! Don't forget to check out Mimi's channel and her video and subscribe while you're there. Why am I wearing different clothes and a different hat? Well, that's because I wanted to ask you guys a question about forgetting, but I had forgotten to do that when I was recording the first time. Dory's really known for forgetting things, but we all kind of are guilty of that. What is the one thing you keep forgetting that you do, but you actually do? For me, it's making sure that Angel's cage is closed. I think I check at least five times before leaving the house. Let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to add me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram. Especially Instagram. Until then, I will see you guys next week.